Hey everybody, how are you? Long time no see. My name is Sherilyn. Welcome to my channel, just in case if you're brand new. So today's video is mostly about my Emerald City Comic Con souvenir haul collection for 2018. It is so awesome that I went to Comic Con this last weekend. I had the most wonderful and amazing experience during my like weekend, five day weekend at Seattle. So this is pretty awesome. So I am really, really excited about wanting to show you guys what I got and what I got is amazing because uh, I think this is one of those moments where you feel like uh, this is one of those ways that you're going to get to know me a little bit better of what I like and what I dislike or anything like that. But mostly my channel is mainly about positivity. I love being positive all the time no matter how rough my day gets or like whenever uh, someone wants to bring you down or anything. So let's begin this amazing souvenir haul. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, first off, I would like to say thank you so much for taking your time during your day of wanting to spend uh, these last uh, 10 minutes or so watching this video, which is awesome. So, now let's officially begin. Now, as you can tell or already notice that I am wearing a Emerald City Comic Con 2018 hoodie from Emerald City Comic Con which is awesome it's really cozy my favorite part about it is like it includes one of those whole thingy-majigs for your fingers and stuff so that's pretty cool anyway so that was the first thing the first day I literally bought from Emerald City Comic Con which is awesome now so I wanted to show you what I also got on the first day of Emerald City Comic Con. It's a Kim Possible. <clears throat> Literally. Ah, oh, that was so weird. Okay. Literally Kim Possible. I don't know why I just did that. Kim Possible fan art. Literally by a creator for the show named Stefan Silver. He's so cool and so sweet. I bought this artwork because I'm a huge Kim Possible fan. For those of you who, who may not know that I like Kim Possible. And Kim Possible is my childhood and my everything. So she is queen and I love her so much. Actually, fun fact, I actually got to meet the actress who plays Kim Possible, Christy Carlson Romano, who is a very and sweet, loving, and kind young lady so she's really awesome if you ever and if you are a Kim Possible fan I highly recommend uh, wanting to meet her she's really cool so yeah I haven't met Will Freddy yet who plays the um cool character Ron Stoppable but hey if he ever comes to Emerald City Comic Con I'm definitely wanting to get a photo op with him so Will Freddy please come back to Emerald City Comic Con that'll be awesome all right now there's one of my awesome souvenirs. <clears throat> and then I got this really cool Power Ranger uh, comic book, which is amazing. And it's by Higgins Presedia. Presedia. I'm going to hurt myself trying to pronounce this word. <laughs> anyway, so this is the comic book officially signed by Jason Font. And he literally wrote my name. He was so cool in person. I love him so much. Uh, Jason, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You're the best Red Ranger. And also uh, Steve Card Cardenas, you guys are awesome. I just want to say thank you so much for taking your time during the weekend and day at Emerald City Comic Con last weekend. And hopefully I didn't creep you out too much. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I had to say that. But, yeah, because I'm a huge Power Ranger fan. And you guys know how it goes when you're a really huge fan to somebody. And then, um, yeah, which is awesome. And I feel like I need to stop saying that word. Also, my favorite souvenir that I got was this 
amazing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers autograph photo with personally signed with David Yost, who is Billy from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He was so cool in person and so sweet and really handsome in person as well. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that out loud. So, uh, plus he knows that I said that too. So I think we're, I think he's cool with that, but I don't want to creep him out too much as well. <laughs> but yeah, he says it's Morphin Time, which is amazing. And I got to meet Steven Cardenas and Jason David Frank, who plays the Green Ranger, aka Tommy from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as well. Literally all the entire cast members from the Power Rangers throughout the 90s generation and now are so sweet. I haven't met anybody from the now generation of the Power Rangers, but I'm pretty sure all of them are sweet as well. So, alright. What I also got at Emerald City Comic Con was a very awesome vintage Spider-Man comic book, which is a special issue from... I believe 1984? Yeah, that's what it says. 1984 with Venom on the top right corner. Or left corner. So. Anyway. What I also got at Emerald City Comic Con for party games. Uh, this is a really, really entertaining king game. It's kind of like Cards Against Humani Humanities except with uh, pictures. This is what I got. It's a, a joking hazard. So if you're a younger viewer and if you don't know what it is, please don't buy this unless it's okay with your parents. Um, highly recommend listening to your parents because that is a number one rule. Always listen to your parents' kids. So, yeah. And basically, uh, this is what it means. Warning. This game contains violence, bad words, and bad stuff. So, uh, yeah. Don't buy this if you're like underneath or uh, underneath the age of 10. So please don't do that unless it's okay with your parents, okay? So, please. <laughs> now my favorite of all time. Um, well, what was that? <clears throat> I'm like losing my voice. Ursula is stealing my voice. So, anyway. <clears throat> My favorite that I got is a, well, my first time buying a booster box from uh, an actual Comic-Con. And it's a Burning Shadows series. I've heard, like, it's not that very good. Um, but I, my goal right now is wanting to get a Hyper Rare Rainbow Charizard card, which is what I've heard worth about almost a hundred dollars or maybe around there so that's pretty cool so i'm really excited if i actually pull this card if not it's all good that means i get to continue my pokemon series and i miss opening pokemon cards for you guys so this is going to be really great now for those of you who may not know i'm a huge supernatural fan i recently got into it last year when i saw it on netflix yeah, I really literally just saw it last year and I got super addicted. But I saw this a beautiful and amazing artwork by a person named Jason Palmer. He is very talented and he if his booth is at Yorcon near you, definitely check it out. He does like Supernatural, Once Upon a Time, Doctor Who, Marvel, um, various other types of movies as well. And I also believe he does um, Stranger Things and... What was it? Game of Thrones. There you go. So that that's really awesome that he does that stuff. And this is my favorite artwork that I purchased from him. And no, he did not pay me to say stuff like that. I did this on my own. And... I, I think he deserves this type of uh, comment. You're very talented, Jason. I just want to say it one more time. Thank you so much for letting me purchase your artwork. You're one of a kind. Thank you. And this is what I got. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? 
So yeah, I got a artwork with um, Castiel, Sam, Dean, Bobby, and so much more characters. And oh my gosh, it's just like a beautiful and amazing work that he did. And the price that I bought was literally not bad. It's roughly about like 40 bucks. So that's, that was pretty awesome. <clears throat> All right, and also, this is what I got. It's a Magikarp plushie because I am planning on wanting to cosplay as a uh, Pokemon trainer for SakuraCon coming up uh, in a few weeks from now, which is really awesome. Do, 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 do. And then, do, do, do. I don't know, I'm just being weird, right? But yeah, this is my favorite plushie that I got from Comic-Con. I was actually surprised they sell uh, Pokemon plushies. So that's pretty awesome. Now, the best part about this is I got a huge Funko Pop bag from Emerald City Comic-Con. Like, literally, look how big this is. I had to do it for the thumbnail you guys so what I got here for you today unfortunately I am not giving these away because these are like um, my prize in possession so I got a barb limited edition Emerald City Comic Con uh, when she's like all pixelated and stuff and then I got a princess Padme from Star Wars limited edition Gotta set some stuff right here real quick. And then I got a Maui Moana limited edition Emerald City Comic Con Funko Pop, which is awesome. Literally. Now here's the best part. I also got this amazing Deadpool collection that I've recently been obsessed with. Obsessed with. I know, I have a lot, you guys. Sorry about that. Look at all this Funko Pops of Deadpool. So I'm going to put these guys down right here. So we got... Deadpool with swords. Deadpool with himself with a sword and a gun, which is pretty awesome, I guess. I feel like I need to stop saying that word. And then, here comes the best part. I got this amazing... Funko Pop of Emma Swan from Once Upon a Time. You guys know that I'm a huge fan to this show. And I recently met her from Emerald City Comic Con. And I asked her if she can sign my Funko Pop. And I got her signature with my name on it. And it feels like she literally gave it to me in my hands. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Thank you, Jennifer Morrison, for taking your time during the day as well. You are simply one of a kind. And genuine human being you're really sweet and I love you so much so yeah this is pretty awesome oh, I just said awesome again I don't know why I'm like half awake and half tired right now cuz long day of work today but anyway this is what I got <laughs> and I believe I'm missing one more Funko Pop so I will be right back. See you in a bit. Or second. Yeah. Alright. See you in a second. Alright, I'm officially back. I knew I was forgetting something, so that's why I had to stop for a bit. But, this is what I got. A very well detailed vinyl figure of Stan Lee. 
which is amazing. And look at this beautiful signature or a copied signature with his uh, website stamped onto the box, which is um, like oh, so gorgeous. And yeah, isn't this great? So this is really fantastic. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that, but I feel like it was a pun that was meant to be. And then I went to this awesome arcade uh, called GameWorks, which is in front of a con the Seattle Convention Center and next to the Cheesecake Factory. And I got this really cool bag that I got with the Funko Pops that I got from this uh, store. It's called Mo Pop. But look, but sadly there's no Funko Pops in here. But I needed something to put um, some stuff into this bag. And this is what I should what I wanted to show you guys is these toys that I won from a claw machine at the arcade game. And so I wanted to show you let's see. I think you might have seen it like for a few seconds. So I won Raven from Teen Titans Go, Robin from Teen Titans Go, and Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go. So these are really adorable to be honest. And hopefully uh, the toys are still there. Uh, I'm gonna probably do a giveaway for those videos or for one of these videos uh, as soon as I post these and stuff. So this is going to be really cool. Alright. And then, last but not least, I want a few more toys from a claw machine. Unfortunately, I didn't get all of the characters. But hopefully, like I said, that they're going to... Hopefully they'll still be there by the time I come back to Seattle from a few weeks from now. But that is unlikely unfortunate. that, Or like some miracle that it will still be there. Alright, so this is what I got. I got Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff Girls, the newer generation one. And Blossom and Buttercup. Unfortunately, I didn't get Bubbles because uh, she was very deep with all, all of the plushies that were on top of each other and stuff. So I was very sad that I wasn't able to get her. But like I said, I hope that they'll still be there by the time I get there. Get back there anyway so like I said yeah <laughs> all right so I believe that is everything hopefully I did not leave anything out but doo -doo -doo. Let's see. if you did enjoy this video please give this vlog a like that would be awesome if you enjoyed my Emerald City Comic Con souvenir haul collection 2018 I hope to see you soon and I hope you did enjoy this video. Like I said, I'm kind of a little bit uh, tired at the moment. So, if you're brand new, definitely do subscribe to my channel. I make videos whenever I can. I hope to see you soon. Uh, I'm thinking about wanting to do another video tomorrow, so that'll be really, really fantastic. And like I said, I hope to see you soon. And hope you guys have a wonderful and fantastic day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Definitely. All right. And like I said, there's going to be a future video with this amazing booster box. So get ready, guys, for my first ever opening of Pokemon Burning Shadows booster box. I don't know why I had to think about that for a few seconds. Anyway. Enough stalling. I'll see you soon. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.